welcome to the channel. My name is Lorena Victoria. I'm back with another reading for you all today. Today's reading is going to be called What is Your Person Thinking Right Now? So we have three marker cards here. We have reading number one, which is journey, and we have reading number two, which is transformation, and we have reading number three, which is healing. You can choose your card for today's reading from your intuition. If you're attracted to the image as well or even the word here as well that's brilliant as well take a few quiet moments to contemplate and use your intuition strongly to which pal you would like today pause the video if you so wish timestamps are actually in the description box if you scroll down underneath this video so you can go straight to your pile if you're attracted to more than one of the pile of cards more than one of the images that's fine as well there may be messages in there for both piles or even all three whatever you're attracted to okay thank you everybody for subscribing to the channel right now i really appreciate you, each and every single one of you i really really do and all your support on the channel since the beginning a lot of you as well i really appreciate all your support and all the comments and yeah <laughs> thank you so much it's lovely to see so let's get on with your readings right now and i'll give you a few quiet moments to choose either reading one reading two or reading three for what is your person thinking right now Hello there, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose this little fairy here, the card says journey and I'll read it out for you. And this is why I didn't read them out straight at the beginning because I wanted you to choose a pile first, okay? So it says, I don't know if you attract the image or the word, okay? It is time to prefer, prepare for a journey. It may be in pro, I can never say the word, <laughs> so I messed that up, in pro <laughs> sorry guys. All planned, either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Oh, okay. So don't know if that you chose it from the image or the wording there, but that's what's come out here. Okay. So I'll put this lovely card here to the side. I'm going to actually raise my tripod because I didn't do that. Sorry about that if the camera's moving. Right, I should have done that first. Apologies. Right, so let's have a look what your person is thinking right now. No idea what's coming out of the card. So we'll get the main subject matter of what's going on from my major Arcano Tower of the Heart cards. And then we'll get some more tarot cards and some oracles and see what it is. So the main subject, the sun is in reverse. So there's been some disappointment here for either you, your person. The sun comes out when there's either um, a disappointment, like I said, or when there's something that your person is wanting and they're waiting maybe for you. I nearly want, I nearly want to say you're waiting for you to make your mind up, but I kind of feel like your person is waiting for something. This waiting might be getting them down somehow, okay? Because the sun in the tarot, for me as a read, and I've been doing this a very long time, it kind of never goes in reverse, if that makes sense, even though it's in reverse. It doesn't stay in reverse for long because it's the sun and it always comes back up brighter and shinier. So when it's gone in reverse like this, it's out. I'm almost feeling like they're waiting for something. They're either... It's like they're waiting to be happy again. Why do I feel intuitively they're waiting for a decision to be made of for some kind? Either maybe you don't, maybe they're waiting for you to contact them to make, they're waiting for something to make them happier again, is what I'm feeling. I'm going to get more tarots here to see and kind of investigate what this is all about. Oh, I forgot to say that private readings are available if anybody wants any video recorded readings with me. Oh, I always forget. All the information to book is in the description box beneath this video and all the videos okay seven of cups just turned over in the rider weight deck here so i know they're waiting for something even that's matching 
there's there's choices to be made here now why am i feeling that that's you that that, that that feels like they're waiting for you to make the choice there may even be some commitment issues here involving you both maybe let me get more cards just to try and see what on earth this is there's a lot going on with the seven of cups coming out in a reading there could be lots going on around you both or just somebody might be too busy to focus on something right now the hermit okay so one of you may have gone a little quiet hmm let me put another card out here okay i'm almost want to say that I'm, oh, it's come out in reverse again guys this is double whammy here okay they're really really uh, low on something uh maybe low self-esteem i want to say both sons have come out in two different decks i'm shocked this is telling me that they definitely i don't know who's making who play the waiting game okay so they're waiting to be happier for some reason uh somebody might be taking their time about doing things the nine of cups is in reverse maybe it's like someone needs time or taking time to get either make come to a decision or make a decision about something between you both when the nine of cups is in reverse I feel like your person is wanting to go, like, looking for quick results. Does that make sense to any of you? They might be even uh, pushing you as well, because the Knight of Cups in reverse can be a little bit greedy in reverse. So it might be the fact that your person's pushing you into making some kind of decision. If they're not actually saying anything, they might just be coming across that way, or you feel pressured to do something for this person. Um, the Hermit those quiet for clarity you've got two suns in reverse that is massively significant the hermit here so i'm wondering if some of you have gone a little quiet or you're not communicating as much as you should have be doing um this could be just thinking time with the hermit coming out you know they often try to see the best way forward but sometimes somebody might need some time out as well it's like give me a break that that's the energy i want to hear but this is all just about thinking time but they're kind of waiting for something to happen and they're hoping whatever it is it will turn out for the best and for the good okay let's turn these suns the right way around i often feel like this is definitely significant because i do feel with the sun being in reverse as a reader and it's kind of like Ooh, let me explain i've been doing this a long long time 30 years no i'm more long i'll show my age now i've been doing it since i was a teenager and i as a reader so when you get used to your tarot cards if any of you are learning certain cards seem to spit like driving a car and then you kind of get used to certain cards being meaning certain things for you even though the basic meaning is there and i know the sun very rarely stays in reverse okay when i'm reading tarot but the rest of the cards are kind of saying here that somebody might not be ready to commit or ready to settle down to something right now okay they're waiting that's what i can hear that's what i feel they're waiting for things to happen um whether they want you to make your, them your mind up about something they seem to be waiting for something to occur it might even be a journey for some of you here let's get my little island time wellness deck this deck is getting more and more popular with the youtube readers i've noticed and yes i do watch other people's pick a card readings i do enjoy quite a few of them there are some fantastic ones out there and there's some new ones as well we got not today right who is this for though with oracles sometimes it can be your energy as well as um they can work vice versa or both together not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundaries so somebody might still be angry here i don't know if it's you or your person it could be you you know but readings can't work vice versa please remember these are general energies on the channel I can only pick up as much as I can pick up for all of you. Let's get some message cards here and then an advice card to finish off. Let me know in the comments if you like my new fairy deck here. They're beautiful images, so we'll go with these for a while and see how they do. Okay, we've got finances are a problem please remember this could be vice versa again um and also not all the messages are going to be exactly for you i understand i'm afraid of commitment seven of cups commitment issues 
can't get them out. Fights, arguments and conflicts have come out. Let's get another couple of cards, shall we? Whoa, I find you incredibly attractive. I do, when I'm seeing this card, it says I feel you. That came out afterwards. I do feel that your person is, is understanding the situation. I really do. I do feel like this, like, I'm feeling quite calm with it. I feel like they're waiting, but I'm, I've got a feeling in, like, um, an intuitive feeling that this person is still quite calm. Um, maybe they're just inwardly anxious, but they feel calm on the surface, and that's what I'm picking up. Okay, lovelies. Oh, I forgot your advice card. Right, let's have a look if this resonates. Right away then. <laughs> okay, what if this could, vice, could be for you though, guys, okay? Right, we have the card of expectations. And what I want to do, because this is from my book of, it's a lovely deck, this one. I, you, I pick, I'm not being paid to sell it, by the way. But I pick a card a day from this deck and it seems to resonate every time. It's called Believe in Your Own Magic by Amanda Lovelace, if anyone's interested, Okay. It's a fantastic oracle deck for, it's for you as well, you know, I use it myself. All the decks that I have on the channel I use myself, by the way. I just thought anyone, you know, sometimes I turn to it for advice because I'm quite particular with which ones I choose. I'll read this out for you, okay, and I'll put it under here. Card 12. Don't seek anyone's approval. People will always have their own expectations of who they think you should be. Their opinions are almost always based on restrictive <laughs> social all right you probably know the word cards what's going on social norms and therefore extremely unrealistic no matter what they tell you remember that you have permission to be whoever it is whoever it is you most wish to be you don't need anyone else's approval only yours sorry about the word slip on my <laughs> I haven't got my glasses on. I'm really naughty. I'll get told off for not wearing them. But yeah, okay. If that's resonating with you there, okay. Card 12 is what I picked out for you. That's great. Take from the messages, from the reading, what resonates with you and what helps. Okay, lovely. If you're attracted to pile two or three, there may be messages in there for you also. So no idea what's coming out of that. I've just filmed reading one. I'm going to film reading two and three now at the time I'm saying this, okay. Okay then, let me thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Turn on the notification bell if you do, then you'll be notified every time I do new upload. I do upload several times a week. Check out the playlist there. I have loads of other titles. All my readings are timeless to when you need them and when you can refer back to them, pick a deck from the same video you watched three weeks ago. It's entirely up to you where you're intuitively drawn. Thanks very much. I'll see you all soon, lovelies. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello there, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose this beautiful lady here, reading number two, this card says transformation. Okay, I'm going to read it out. I don't know if this is resonating with any of you. It says this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Okay, now this message may just be for you. It might resonate there. That's why I chose the fairy deck today. I hope you like the fairy deck. Let me know in the comments if you like the images because I was excited when I received this deck. <laughs> I choose my deck specifically, okay? I feel connected to them and sometimes I just don't feel connected to different ones, you know, but I did feel connected to this one. Okay, let's get a Tower of the Heart first to see the main thought of what's going on in your person's energies. Let's have a look. We have the judgment. Wow. I always think the judgment's a pretty strong energy when it comes out. It usually comes out when somebody wants a decision made, okay? But sometimes it's a decision that kind of might shake things up or wake things up. It's usually a final decision as well, but it, it's always... 
People, I used to be scared of the judgment when I first started learning tarot because you can see all the bodies come out of the graves. It's quite a scary looking card in the right away deck. And um, people are like, oh my God, and you know, it looks like a cemetery. But um, um, as I grew up and <laughs> as I grew up, as I, you know, continue to read, I kind of respected the judgment card there. It's often about making final decisions, but final decisions, I feel the kind of shake up your life, yeah? What I'm gonna do is get some extra Rider Waite cards, right, okay? We have the star. I did say something was gonna be shaken up. Aquarius may be relevant here, okay, with the star card. If it's not, if you're not Aquarius, it's fine. It's just the star card represents Aquarius. Let's get more cards. We have the star card. I'm going to pick another two. So we have the four of wands. Okay, four of wands is not so great in reverse. I've got to be honest. Uh, the four of wands can indicate a happy home life sometimes. Or somebody that might be arguments in the house or arguments around your person. Or maybe even you that's coming out. Okay, so they might be saying here, they. oh, I just got that. Okay, God, I've gone really hot. I just heard Spirit say they seem to be turning to you to kind of save them. You are their number one, is what I hear. Okay, let me get more cards. Are you kidding me? Guys, a judgment card has come out. That's two judgment cards, right? This is a massive decision, massive shake-up. You know, didn't I say about people coming out of graves? <laughs> I told you I used to be scared of the judgment card when I first started reading tarot. Oh, this is something about happy family lives. I'm feeling really strongly here, guys, that this is something to do with family. Perhaps they've had a breakup which concerns children. They kind of want to know you're there for them is what I'm feeling intuitively as well. The Ten of Cups is about completion. It's about completing that journey for, for them. But it might be that they've had trouble at home Maybe even went as far back as when they were children. So the judgment is kind of, why am I feeling that they kind of want a decision from you? Um, I need to be honest, and I'm going to sort of get, let you into a little secret here. I've read pile one, okay? And I don't know if some of you come over to pile two. I just get this feeling. Similar thing happened, and I'm getting quite uh, freaked out myself. Um, similar thing happened in pile one. The initial card, I pulled the same card out in the same position with the second deck <sighs> okay i knew i should have read tonight i knew it right i know i'm on fire <laughs> right this is a wake-up call this is a shake-up call this person may decide that you're it for them oh god my stomach's turning over what's going on tonight i've got butterflies and i want to cry at the same time it's a very emotional thing i feel your person's emotional about you especially the star card, as soon as I saw it, and then I was a bit confused by this four of wands. There obviously is a situation. Maybe there's been a divorce or a breakup for some, for your person. And they kind of maybe trying to rebuild their life or renew their life with you. Um, final decisions need to be made. You've got a double whammy here of a wake up call and clarity and making some kind of decision to be happier. Your person, I'm feeling, wants to be happier because I think possibly they've... I don't know where, who's had the bad time, whether it's you or your person or both of you. I feel like very strong intuitive feeling that you both understand each other's and what you both want. I'm going to get more oracles. It's like you've both got... An, what I'm feeling is an equal, like an understanding of what each other wants. But the four of wands being in reverse is throwing me off a little bit there, okay? It kind of feels like to me your person wants to be happy, wants a family life possibly. Maybe they've never had it or maybe they've lost a family is what I want to say um, in some way. That might not resonate for all of you. I kind of feel like they've lost somewhere. They feel lost to me. Like family members haven't been on their side or something like that. They're looking possibly as well for a family to settle down with. I do feel like they've put you as a centre of attention with that star card. You've got two judgments as well. Perhaps that's why I kind of feel like you both might be on the same plane. But your person is wanting to settle down. That's what I'm feeling. They want some stability with that 10. 
Tens are all about completion. That's like the end of the journey. They want to be happy. They want um, fulfillment. They want... Um, why do I want to cry? What's going on, guys? Right, it's kind of like, it can be a card of marriage. Perhaps they've had a bad marriage in the past because this is in reverse. Because the four of wands are right way up can indicate a marriage again, but it's gone in reverse, okay? So there might be decisions here. Perhaps they've walked out of a marriage or they've left a long-term partnership. Don't have to be married, by the way. What I'm meaning is a long-term stable partnership. That's what it kind of feels like. Maybe... And I'm going to say this, and I don't know if I should whisper for some reason. I kind of feel like maybe they're thinking of walking out of a long-term marriage for you. There you go, I've said it. It's pretty strong. They may be making some decisions here. I need to know, you know, some serious decisions that will affect lives. Okay, what came out? Camera came out. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Okay, I'm going to get some, um, I know I'm looking at one of my oracles, which one shall I pick up here? I'm going to use some message cards here. Let's have a look what messages are coming out and then a little bit of advice and guidance for you who's watching this right now, okay? We'll finish the reading like that today, but let me get these message cards for you first. Making new memories, taking new photos. Finances are a problem. Okay, so there's some financial problems maybe. Let's get more here as well. I can see myself with you for the long term. Oof. So there's been some fights, arguments and conflict. Let's get some more cards. Oh, wow. You are the love of my life. Oh, I don't want to cover her beautiful face. Oh, this is... I check on you from afar. Right. That might be resonating with some of you there as well. I'm just... Not all the messages are going to resonate with absolutely everybody. I'm aware, okay? And this also could be your... Your... um Info. Your energy is coming out too. So this could be some thoughts that you may have being picked up here because you are watching the reading okay i'm gonna get some advice card here for you the watcher today okay okay we have a card sticking out okay Right, we've got Raindrops, card 39, which breaks down to a 12 and then a 3, if that's any significance to anybody. Card 39, Raindrops, take a chance on them. Let's look up 39 in the book because this does have a paragraph here of advice. This deck is a beautiful deck for, um, I'm not selling it or anything, it's not my deck and I'm not being paid to do it, but it's just a fantastic deck and I do pull a card a day for myself from this deck and it seems to resonate every single time and I'm going to show you it anyway it says raindrops if whoops <laughs> if anyone has a reason to keep their guard up it's you people have been known to mistreat you I want to say in the past but I'm not going to say it because it's not in the book but I felt like I wanted to say it and like any rational person you finally got tired of it went back inside locked the door but you weren't supposed to stay out in the rain forever no matter how terrifying the prospect may seem you need to put yourself out there again i'm gonna stop crying sorry whoever it is you're thinking of they can be trusted to walk with you through the storm i'm tearing up sorry okay i hope that resonates with some of you there i kind of feel like that one really did then Okay, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you, that's what I do in this channel. For those of you who new think she's soft, isn't she? Yes, I pick up on energy like you wouldn't believe. And sometimes I can't help it. How embarrassing. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I keep looking at these two fairies. I knew it. Thank you ever so much for listening to me today. Um, I hope that resonated. I hope it gave you some clarity 
I am aware not all of it will resonate for absolutely every single one of you. Um, if you like what I do, subscribe to the channel. I upload regularly throughout the week. Um, you can check out the playlist there. I have a love playlist there. Loads of different titles. Um, have a look at the thumbnails. Pick your deck intuitively. Um, yeah, thank you ever so much. If you do subscribe, turn on the notification bell, then you'll be notified. YouTube should tell you when I do a new upload. So thanks ever so much. Take care, everyone, till next time. Bye-bye. Hello there, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number three, which is this card, Lady here of Healing, Lady in the Blue Dress with the rainbow. Okay, I won't, I'm going to read this out. Okay, it says, I don't know whether you're attracted to the picture, the image or the word. So I'm going to read it for you now. That's why I didn't read it at the beginning. Now is a time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Okay, so I don't know if that's a message for you. And let's put this beautiful lady in the corner here. Let me know if you like the new fairy deck. I was very intuitively drawn to this deck. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you like it. So, let's do your Tower of the Heart situation. What's the main thought that your person has right now in, in their head? Um, any of you would like any private guidance with me, all the links to book are in the description box right beneath the video. Um, my email address is there as well, so if you decide to book, read through all the information. Um, prices is there, PayPal links, Cash App links there. It's very much like a recorded reading, like what I do, but it's to your very own situation, your own personal questions there. And you, can, it's a, I'll send you a link to your private, private video. No one sees it. Okay let's have a look what's going on what's your person in your person's mind what's in their head and heart and energies okay that's the main subject what's bothering okay the death card has gone in reverse this is telling me there's some stuck energy okay so things may have just stopped all of a sudden with the death card being in reverse um it's a card of um Stagnation. I'm going to get more right away to more tarot cards for you. I match the blue, the blue, the blue with her dress. Okay. We have the judgment. I'm so sorry for the sneezes. <laughs> if you heard that then in the background. Hay fever, hay fever pollen in the UK. And I don't know where, where you are in the world, but it's horrendous here. It's really bad and loads of people are suffering really bad. They've no idea why, but yeah. And I am surrounded by trees and fields as beautiful as they are. If you're a hay fever sufferer, it's not so beautiful anymore, is it? <laughs> so we have the Eight of Swords, Freedom. Somebody wants some freedom here. The Judgment card. Let me get more cards. Five of Cups here. The Ace of Swords. Hmm. Okay, the Judgment has come out. The Judgment is kind of a shake-up. It's kind of a wake-up call. You do have a Death card in reverse. So I'm wondering if your person... It feels like to me, I'm looking at the Eight of Swords in reverse more than anything. Often that's a card of freedom when it's gone in reverse and liberation so i'm wondering if your person may actually okay i got it the five of cups is in reverse and then you've got the ace of swords right they i'm feeling the energies of them being trapped where they are finding a new love and wanting to start again this is kind of what this card is saying to me i feel like then possibly some of you some of you your person may have been stuck either stuck where they are physically maybe they can't get to you maybe they live abroad or a different city or um this is maybe long distance for some of you so they're stuck where they've been stuck where they are it might be that the freedom is coming with this card because the judgment is out so it's like a decision to be made with this person they're either been in a um i nearly said toxic relationship i feel like they've been stuck possibly in a relationship that was going nowhere that's that's the main thing they want to kind of love again yeah they they want hope back in their lives the five of cups in reverse is often a card of 
um, recoveries for the person, yeah? So, um, it either some of them have kind of want to be in your life or they want to be back in your life. That's what I want. That's what I really want to say. The Ace of Swords is all about new ideas and mental clarity. So it's like they've had some kind of wake up call. It's they could be returning some of them, okay? Because the Five of Cups, it might be somebody, maybe that um, maybe someone who's coming back into your life in an emotional way. They may have realised that they miss you. They may have realised. Um, Perhaps some of you haven't spoken for a little while. If you're already in contact and they've gone a bit distant, I kind of feel like they will kind of renew it all again. The Ace of Swords is communication, okay? It's often a card of getting that spark, that new idea. Maybe they'll start talking again with the Ace of Swords. For me, it's a card of talking. It's Swords energy is all about communication. I feel like maybe you haven't heard from this person for a little while, for some of you as well. They may have just been stuck where they were in all sorts of ways. This could be, I'm feeling, I either geographically where they live yeah it's like maybe they thought it was too far or there was too much distance in some way between you so yeah at, at one point I feel like maybe that death card can be a card of having um feeling stuck and kind of being very introverted kind of being within yourself so either your person has had problems going on in their own lives they kind of thought, I feel like they're thinking again about things as well. Uh, freedom is there. Look, this is what's bugging me here. The freedom, the free card to, to kind of love again or the kind a lot card to maybe be in another relationship. Perhaps they've been hurt before in the past or somebody has hurt them. Perhaps at the time when you knew them, they didn't want to be in a connection or they found a romantic connection too overwhelming. Uh, perhaps they've been there, done that and weren't ready for another one. But it kind of feels like they're about to, you know, I nearly said they're about to get frisky. <laughs> kind of get getting things going again. Yeah, perhaps they've been too quiet for a little while. That's what I'm seeing here. Let me get an oracle card and some message cards. See what comes out. Perhaps the healing card is what was needed for this person. Aha, lightning bolt, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. I knew that already. It's kind of like they weren't free to have this transformation for me. Um, the communication could come like a bolt out of the blue. It's like unexpected. Perhaps you haven't heard from this person. Perhaps this person has already reached out even before you picked on this reading today. Um, perhaps they've already made communication and you might be wondering, why are they contacting me? That's what I'm kind of feeling here. But it's like something that's happening out the blue. So it's like, whoa, I haven't heard from this person for a while. Or maybe they just changed their minds. That's what I'm feeling here as well. Yeah, so it's something like a bolt out the blue. Could be a different idea. Perhaps they may, perhaps you are in communication with this person already and they kind of um, flirt more or their attitude changes and it's like something different is what I'm feeling you're getting from this person that you, or you will get unless of course yeah like those energy said they might have already communicated with you I'm gonna do the message cards right and let's have a look here what is sticking in your head what comes out and what jumps out in you right I feel empty without you this could be your energy as well though bearing that in mind with the message cards and with um all the oracles actually but I kind of feel like you kind of know what I'm talking about a lot of you with this one doesn't the blue look nice I'm glad I bought the fairy deck now and the blue and white gold day right away right one has come out and gone onto the floor you make me want to be a better person went onto the floor whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Right, we've got I'm not ready. Perhaps they weren't ready at one point. I abandon people to make myself feel important. Where should we put it there? I don't want to cover the lady. Oh, I'm intimidated by you. I think I'll pick one more as well. 
I am afraid of commitment. I do have that feeling that they've been burnt in the past by somebody. Um, for some of you, okay. I'm going to get what we call a bit of advice. I think it's for you mainly, but it could be for your person a little bit as well. But it kind of looks like to me, this is called believing your own magic deck, okay. So whatever jumps out at you, okay, is your intuition that we're working with here. We'll finish off your reading. Lovely. Let's have a look what it says. All right. This is card number four. So that might be relevant. The number four. Mirror. Treat your body like the palace it is. And I'm going to get the book and show you the actual paragraph. And you can follow along and have a look as well. Okay. This is the book that it comes with. And it's quite a lot. So I'm not going to learn all this. So I hope you don't mind me reading from the book. It says, treat your body like the palace it is. You've been feeling self-conscious of late. But the answer isn't to change anything about yourself. The answer is to learn to love the body you've been given. Avoid those crash diets, that extreme exercise or any other unhealthy behaviour. Take strides towards a healthy mindset and accept yourself as you are. Not what you feel pressured to be absolutely fantastic okay this could be completely separate from you reading this might be the advice that somebody needed to hear right now if it's not resonating with you then that's fine too okay lovelies thank you ever so much for listening to pile number three if you're attracted we're attracted to one and two as well you may find those messages there for you as well so check that out too if you're not subscribed yet please do it'd be lovely to have you here on my little corner of youtube i upload regularly throughout the week so turn on the notification bell and you'll be notified when a new upload comes up drop a comment give the video a thumbs up it helps push the video forward as well whenever you interact with a youtuber it helps push that video forward and it'd be really nice so thank you so much take care till next time i'll be back really really soon with another video take care bye bye